Okay. Well, I got interrupted there with a phone call, so let's continue on now. We're just about to make an examination of the vacuum tube pins and the uh, and the uh, um, the socket up here. So here's the vacuum tube. Isn't that a marvelous looking thing? And even just with my eyes, I can see extensive corrosion on the pins. Yeah. And I'm not surprised at all. Uh, this tube gets so hot. These pins get crazy hot. Um, I can't imagine how they can prevent high temperature oxidation of the metal. So let me take a closer look. Wow. Okay, so there's definitely a very serious problem there. I mean, it can certainly be fixed. Now, there's one pin that's large, and uh, actually has a sleeve. It looks like it's glued on, metal sleeve. And that pin uh, is the key to making sure the tube doesn't go in wrong. So the socket has one large opening and the rest are small, so you can't put this tube in wrong. What a beast that is. So, so the pins clearly are presenting a problem here. Let's just see if I can give you a good view of what this really looks like. I think you're gonna be a little bit surprised just putting on my powerful magnifier. Okay, now you should be able to see fairly heavy buildup on these pins. So I think you know part of what's required with this amplifier is regular maintenance of the pins. So let's do that. Let's do that. Now what's the best way to do that? It's a very unusual tube. I cannot plug it into a socket, other than the ones that are designed for it. So, I guess, um, you know, I don't want to scour it too hard. I'm not sure brushing is going to do it. Hmm, what do you use? I certainly wouldn't want to dremel it. That doesn't make sense. And it really looks like a surface kind of thing that's built up on it. It should be able to come off pretty easy. Why don't we start with a tool as opposed to sandpaper? Hmm. You know what might work well? Let, let's try this. Let's try a toothbrush. I have a nice clean toothbrush. And we'll give it a shot. Yeah. Just in case this material is actually very loose. Yeah, that's not working. You know what, if I, when I look closely at this, uh, I can see that they are pitted, that this is actually corroding. High temperature atmospheric corrosion. I'll bet you this is one of the, let's just call it a standard problem with this tube. Don't know how long uh, it's taken for this to occur. This may have occurred over many years of use. Um, the amp may have been s stored in, in uh, a damp location. I don't know. I don't want to break these pins. It shouldn't take too much, really, to, uh, to fix this. That sure explains why, when I wiggled these tubes, they got quite a variation in the... Uh, 
That's pretty good. Left a little bit of debris on it. Oh, that's great. Okay, so that's what we'll do. We'll just do every pin like that. So I've done quite a few videos now using the Google Plus uh, Hangouts Live. And today I was setting up to do another one, but you know I couldn't get the Google software to run on my computer. I kept I kept getting it started, and it kept uh, claiming there was a connection problem. Connection was lost. And that was enough frustration for me to try this. I've been thinking about trying a different approach anyway. I think we need to sand the big guy. He looks nice and shiny. It must be the difference in material. This must be a, a, a material. It looks like stainless steel to me. Okay. That, that, that pin's not too good. You know, to do something like this, you, you really need a powerful magnifier, almost a microscope, uh, to get a good look at, at what's uh, what's actually happening. But certainly, with my eyes, my, my my ordinary eyes, or my unaided eyes, I can't see this level of detail. So let's brush it off now. Now you gotta imagine that somehow the uh, the um, sockets have also suffered in some way. The sockets are designed to make a contact over a distance of the surface. They're not. I was quite worried that they were pincers type contacts where the contact is really only a, like this. It's not like this. It can be like that. And then the contact is relying on a very small portion of the surface area. And if you have trouble right at that moment, then you're going to have trouble with the contact. But that's not the case. This guy here attempts to make contact over a distance. Okay, that looks pretty good. I mean, this amp did operate with all this corrosion. So, so that tube's ready. I have to clean my finger oil off of it, too. I think. So let's take a look at the uh, actual uh, Okay. Just need a little something here to prop this up properly. Taking a look at these contacts. So, the first thing I'm doing is I'm looking to see if they're all identical from a mechanical point of view. Do they have the same spacing, position, or does any one of them look a little odd? And uh, they all look exactly the same. That's a good sign. Now, unless they've all weakened, you know. Um, the same amount, what I'm seeing is the proper design position of them. Uh, I'm going to have to get right in there with a magnifying glass and see if I can actually see the surface. Uh, 
Now I'm trying to look actually at the surface. And every one of them has a, a mark where the pin has been sitting. And there's some kind of debris along the mark, the powdery debris. So, but metal itself uh, looks shiny. So I think the problem is the pins. And our problem with these now is how to clean them. And I, I really don't want to get in there and I don't want to hit them with cleaner. I don't think that'll work. Spray cleaner. I think what I need to do is brush them. So we'll pick one and we'll give it a brushing with my toothbrush. This is a brand new clean toothbrush, by the way. There's no oil on it or anything like that. As opposed to this guy, which is all oiled up, so I wouldn't want to use that. I should have probably taken a before and after look here, so... Let's take a look now. They all look the same before, and uh, clean in there. Excellent. I really don't see... any hint of corrosion. So I think that's the treatment. We'll have to do this to all four tubes. Uh, pull them out, clean the pins, and clean the sockets, and I think we won't have any more problem with, uh, um, I don't know what they're called, thermal expansion, thermal expansion noise, or thermal expansion inconsistency, or I don't know what. I think you know what I'm getting at. So, that's what I'm going to do. No need to video all that. You've seen what I'm going to be doing. So my next video will be after this, this work is done. And we'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes.